Hello IT Pros and welcome back to my IT workshop. So in this video we are going to upgrade our mechanical hard drive to an SSD or solid state drive. So I have done a few videos in the past about this using uh, Acronis and PNY and the other using ESUS Total Backup and Kingston. So if you want to see, if you want to watch those, I'm going to leave the link in the description below. Okay, so for this video we're going to use the brand ScanDisk but it doesn't have to be a scan disk it can be any other brand that you may have and it doesn't have to be 120 20 gigabytes like in this video it can be one terabyte can be any other size besides that we're going to need this usb to sata cable if you're interested i'm going to leave the link in the description below for amazon for both items next you have to connect this this um the sata part to the ssd and after you have done that, you have to connect the USB to any available port on your computer. Then you're going to see a light. Allow me a few seconds while I do it uh, and should be there. There, there we go. So this SSD has power. Next, uh, we are going to use for this, uh, for this video a Dell Latitude 3532, as you can see here. But it doesn't have to be Dell and it doesn't have to be a laptop. It can be a desktop, can be HP, can be Lenovo, can be... Um, Toshiba can be anything that you may have. The process is going to be exactly the same, all right? So next we need, using a web browser, we need to download the Macrion software. As you can see here, I'm using Google Chrome. And I, I, again, I'm going to leave the link in the description below. So as you can see here, Macrion software, Reflect 7, free edition. So the only thing you have to do here is click on home use. Then it's going to ask you for your email address, you, which you don't have to to give that information and then you just have to click continue and the download process is going to start okay then you go to the download folder and all that but for some reason i thought we needed an extra software here which is rufus which i have used in many other videos to create bootable usb but we don't need it for here so i don't know what i thought <laughs> so after you have downloaded you go to the download folder here you go there it is and i'm going to copy it to my desktop so for me it's going to be easier so i copy paste it or cut it and i'm going to just double click on it so it's telling me this is the free version where do you want to install it by default you can change it but i'm just going to leave it by default there and i'm just going to go to download this video is, is sped up in some parts so you don't have to wait all the real time and this software is about 100 megabyte as of this video so then it's going to tell you do you want this this software to do changes to your computer well yes macron reflect 7 i'm going to go next there there you see the version 7.2 free edition and then it's going to continue with the process then it's telling me welcome to macron blah 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 next yes i accept the terms and license agreement which is free and this is the key i don't have to copy paste it from anywhere is there is there by default and what free edition do you require well this one is home i'm going to click next and you don't have to type your email address or anything so we click next again and the well and the just the uh, the last option is the one that we really need install desktop shortcut so that's that's it then the installation or uh, will continue and then launch now now we're going to see the macrion software in all its glory so you can see here um this is uh, is detecting my two hard drives the mechanical and, and the ssd the mechanical which is on the top which is one uh, 500 gigabytes as you can see here like i mentioned before um it doesn't uh, I'm, you, I'm going to clone this hard drive to mechanical to an ssd which is 120 gigabytes which is way smaller than the original and the reason is because this computer is running as, as slow really slow and the people who are, who is going to use it only use it for web browsing and answering emails so that's why they don't really need much space but it can be any other size it can be one terabyte can be anything that you may need okay so i'm going to close this as you can see it's detecting it by default and the, in the lower part is detecting my 120 gigabyte ssd as you can see here now by default on the top is selected you can see the checks there in all the the partitions and next we just have to go to clone disk or clone this disk and it's going to ask us where do you want to clone this to as you can check again the, the checks are check <laughs> and you have just to choose the only available ssd or hard drive which is 120 
gigabyte scan disk. Well, again, make, make sure that everything is selected. Make sure what do you want to clone and where do you want to clone it. So the source and the destination. After you have verified that, you just have to click next to continue with the process as we have as you can see here so here we don't have to do much next and here is going to give us a summary i'm doing a close a close-up and it's telling us the mbrd which is this one 500 gigabytes uh, is going to be cloned to disk 2 which is 120 gigabytes okay so this is just a summary what we are going to what, what's about to happen the source and the destination and then we just you just have to go to next and here we have some options and the only one we really need is run this backup now the second option we don't really need it so we're going to uncheck it so that's that's all and i'm going to click ok and the process is going to start so by the way if you are interested in how to create a master image and clone it to another computers or if you want to see how to replace a hard drive or many other things I have a playlist for that if you're interested again uh, you can access that playlist clicking on the top right of this screen so now this process is going to take about 20 minutes so I'm going to stop the video and come back when it is done welcome back so it took around 21 minutes for the process to complete but it's going to depend how big your hard drive is I mean if you have a lot of information let's say it's one terabyte it's going to take longer than that so this one was really basic it had really basic things so that's why it took let's say a small amount of time so next we're going to click close because we don't have to do anything else and as you can see in the bottom the the ssd now is full it's well not full but it's not blank anymore it's not it's not empty so now i'm going to close everything well not everything but and i have this one i created this you can see all the software on the left and i have created this txt file which is, which says did it work so we have to see the same when since we have cloned the hard drive we have to be we will be able to see the same on the new hard drive the next time we boot windows and now i'm going to close everything we don't have anything else to do here and we are going to continue recording on my cell phone so here we are. Allow me a few seconds to change my camera view. And now I'm going to close the laptop. I'm going to turn on the lights. I'm going to disconnect the power, the USB, which is um, the SSD. And we are going to proceed to replace the hard drive. I'm going to take out, to take off any jewelry I might have, any, any watches. And I'm going to use my loyal Philips or plain head screwdriver. So I turn over the computer and you can take out the battery in some models you cannot and depending on what model you may have and what brand is going to be more or less difficult to access to the hard drive right so in this case for this model for this Dell it's kind of easy to access what I need in, as you can see here it didn't it didn't take me a lot of time so you can see here the mechanical hard drive the RAM and the CMOS battery now, now we are interested in replacing the hard drive so I'm going to do it kind of quickly here and it's really easy to take, to take out you can see here this plastic thing <laughs> helps you a lot you can you have to pull it back and then really carefully and really slowly you have to take it out then it has this belt around it which i'm going to take also because we are going to need it for the for the ssd so here i'm taking it out it's really easy to take out it doesn't have much it's not that it's not complicated that's perhaps what i'm trying to say and now I'm going to put it in the same way uh, the new SSD okay so you remember how it was before and I put it just the way it was so I'm putting the screws back and again uh, this video is sped up so you don't have to wait for all the real time that it, <laughs> that it took me to get it ready so after that we're going to put it back to the socket for the SSD and for the for the 2.5 inches hard drive that's pretty much it uh, now uh, i'm going to put the screws so it's um, it's secure let's put it that way <laughs> but i lost it uh, the screw fell so i have to look for it <laughs> i don't know why i didn't edit that part so now i'm going to put back the cover as you can see here 
and then we are turn, we're gonna we're going to turn the computer over one more time and we are going to well turn it on and see what happens so here you see me doing that i'm going to put the battery i forgot <laughs> to do that and now we are going to turn on the computer one more time so uh, i'm going to connect the power of course and allow me a few seconds to i'm going to turn off the lights and allow me a few seconds to adjust my camera one more time so we can continue so i believe there we go or something like that now i'm going to turn on the computer let's wait let's wait and it's telling me something that the battery ran into some issues okay that's not the important part of the video so i'm just going to press f1 so windows is starting uh, now uh, it's asking me for my username and password so i'm going to type it this computer this computer is going to be joined to a, to a domain in the future so this one it took ar around 30 seconds for the first time to uh, grant me access to windows and then here we are in the desktop so you can see all the software that was a few that i showed you a few minutes ago in the old hard drive so i'm going to open this text document which is did it work well yeah <laughs> it did so you can tell it is the same okay so i'm going to go to my to this pc and now you can tell this one says 120 gigabytes it doesn't say 500 gigabytes anymore um and we can see that the process has been successful the cloning process worked so here i'm showing you the for some reason very close <laughs> the old mechanical hard drive that we have replaced and we can mm, I, I don't know uh, decommission it or use it for something else or something like that so that's all i wanted to show you for this video guys um, a way a free way let's put it away using a free software macroon a uh, way to clone your hard drive to upgrade it from a mechanical hard drive to an ssd again it doesn't have to be a mechanical it doesn't have to be an ssd it can be a mechanical as well maybe you are replacing it for a bigger one or just because it's very slow and you want a faster ssd a faster hard drive so that's what i wanted to show you today guys if you like this video please leave a like and subscribe if, if you have any other comment or question leave it in the comment section below and if this is your first time in the channel look around maybe you're going to find something that is useful to you so thank you very much again and i'll see you in the next video